following the saga. Now, a student of mine here in the... Are you going to dip? I fancy myself as an impactful corner man at the best of times. Um, and I have... Uh, I like to give... Group well taught. You know the kids who did that? Yeah, 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 the yeah. yeah. Type uh, cabin crew. Cabin crew. Yeah. Drill. It was more Is of a drill? drum and bass. Drum and bass, sorry, Chris. Okay, let's go, Shaheen. Now, I don't know too much of um, Burroughs here. We've seen him here before. I said he was Jordan's cousin. <laughs> um, Shaheen, a tricky grappler. Really good. Back takes. Um, let's hope that we see him. For our sake, for Coach Chris's sake, um, let us hope that we see him make his way there. <laughs> Engaging in the hand fight here from Standen. Um, I anticipate that we might see Shaheen pull guard later in the exchange here if things don't go his way. Standing up super strong from his guard. But... Burroughs looks strong in the standing position here. Star-studded BJJ Bray corner um, for Shaheen over there. Brother Sahand, training partner and BJJ Bray's first Irish Open champion, Fiona. Yeah, nice exchange there. Looked like he was caught in a bit of a... Were you a bit worried on the straight arm there for a second? Chilling. No? Chilling. Now Shaheen could do it against some chest-to-chest -chest here. He's good on a anaconda attack from this position, as is his brother. Come from a strong martial arts family. Three brothers, all of whom are... Um, pretty much full time in their chosen fields. Sahand and Shaheen here, heavily involved in Jiu Jitsu. Their brother, Sahail, one of the best um, young Thai boxers in the country as well. Stefan's giving you the nod here as well. And a, young, and a purple belt under Coach Chris. Footlock looks tight here, but. Beautiful use of the paro there. Yeah, and the disengagement. So we're going to get a, a reset standing here now, you see. Tactical. Tactical. See, we were listening to the stream earlier on. He tried to barrel into us there. To he knew what would happen. So if you come to a beginner's course in our gym, that's the first class <laughs> on your first day, is rolling out of the area. After what? 30 minutes of shrimps? Yeah. Bit of an ecological development. Yeah. Now remembering that this is a, a judged 10 minutes, Shaheen needs to... It's three in the bag. Yeah, Shaheen needs to start to show a little bit of his own game here. I would like to see him pull guard and invite the passing opportunities and, and pressure from Burroughs here. I think Shaheen is very confident in his guard and I'd, I'd like to see him if I was over there on the sideline, on the other sideline. That's probably what I would be calling for, but far be it from me to beautiful sprawl here. And we might see a chance for his Anaconda Dars. Yeah, his brother there's a hand calling for a little bit of a positional change to maybe get the Anaconda a little bit deeper. Here we go. Burroughs is going to try a big explosive set out here, I think, if he gets the chance. Mm. It seemed like he was prepping himself for it there a second ago, but Shaheen has cut the angle well. Yeah, I think he needs to trust himself on this Dar Skilletine Anaconda. Now, he is super confident on his back take, so he might be looking for an opportunity to get closer to the hips here. Hands are coming through, though. This is a great position when you can get the hands connected just close to that. Yeah, Burroughs looks like he's aware of it, though. 
needs to pass here and he has pretty much beautiful upper body control big kick now to Freedius and needs to hold tight great job there by Shaheen round of applause there by Our the well educated grappling audience yeah bit of banter going on there between the athletes I missed it nice neon belly from Shaheen here Shahan trying to say we're going to stall him out here, is it? You just have different codes for it. Yeah. But talk to me about the Homer Simpson tattoo on the inside of Shaheen's left calf. You'll enjoy it. Thoughts? It's great. Yeah, I Big like fan. it too. Yeah. I like it too. Shaheen needs to not lose the head here. He also needs to not lose control of his opponent's head. <laughs> You can see how you can see where you how you and how and why you got where you did in this industry. You can it was see why I'm universally turn of phrase by so many people, <laughs> and I've burnt so many bridges in my <laughs> life. <laughs> now this is where I like to see Shaheen transition into that north south. Opens up maybe Kimura attack on the forearm. Again, giving Burrows a chance to turn up. Maybe have another bite of this. Yes, now this is where he's strong if he can. Burrows making a wise decision there to get us back to the mat. Burrows has this sort of lock. I, I think, think Shaheen. You're worried. No, not worried, but if Shaheen can keep the upper body control, this is not a threat. But if he loses the upper body control, this could turn into a tricky leg entanglement. That upper body control trumps all, though, in these positions. The bite of it, in essentially in like a reverse Americana type position that he had on Shaheen's left arm seemed to be enough to get a reaction but look at this nice leg work this is what I'm talking about leg work yeah. now. now he missed it. Burroughs did well to cross the legs there but that left that almost instinctual left butterfly hook coming Hitting in there the back of the knee yeah. and we're going nice. to see some leg work to get through here too now this is Brazil 101 this type of stuff and if Keen is watching backstage this is kind of hopefully we can see Shaheen swap his right butterfly hook for where his left one is now. You can see him wiggling the toes in preparation. Good recovery here though from Burroughs. And again, nice leg work there from Shaheen. We're into the last three minutes here, so I would think 2 0 at the minute for Shaheen, but. Hard to call the first. Wrong. Hard to yeah. call the first one because we had the footlock kind of attack over here. Always right. Yeah, a strong, strong finishing. I think Shaheen's growing, growing in confidence here, and is definitely kind of dominating the match positionally. But there is that footlock exchange to take into account earlier in the match. And um, this is why I would have liked to see him. Maybe get to the ground with guard pull or something a little bit sooner because he he should be understandably confident in his abilities here because he's very 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 good grappler. Beautiful transition to the mount there. Perhaps a opportunity for a mounted triangle here if he can continue to work with his left knee. Okay, Burrows recovers that. Surely doing enough in the eye of the judges here, if it all stays level, to clinch this. Would like to see him go for a submission here, though. Looks like he has both of Burroughs' arms across to our left here. Now, this could be a mistake from Burroughs if Shaheen ends up on the back, because, like I mentioned earlier, very, very strong with his back attacks. And uh, then knee cut here from the half guard. Another BJJ Bray staple. I know if Zara is watching still in New York, which she undoubtedly is. Shaheen, a big trainer partner of hers. But that's the Zara Di Tofano signature technique. The knee cut from half guard. He Bit did of a reversal there. Here we go, though. Chance for a finish here from Shaheen. Needs to go on this hard. Yeah. Maybe go for a no arm in triangle, Andrew. Maybe. 
I assume it's going to be added to correctly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Immediately now. Double unders guard yeah. passes are banned. <laughs> now we need another pass from Shaheen here just to solidify this in the eyes of the judges. I like the way he's finding this knee cut again and again. He's found it consistently and I have yeah. to say Chris as well. Just not because he's... Here we go. This is the uh, this is the Afshar signature technique. Arm on the leg will do the job here. Yes. Yeah, should get the finish here. Nice work. <laughs> With uh, about 15 seconds or less left, Chris. Yeah. Beautiful. That's the signature Afshar brothers I technique. Was gonna, I was just going to say a second ago that the fact that. He felt and looked as comfortable with his knee cut control passing on his left hand side as he was on his right hand side. Which means that he's very all around confident. You know, you don't see too many people spamming it to the bad side these days. No such thing as the bad side these days, man. Really? That's old school thinking. Yeah, fair enough. But no, you're right. I know what you're saying. Okay. Um, 